when did you get the house up here? Sister of Eugenia Galento. We'll attempt one more act of the drag. I'm a drag queen now. I'm gonna try it. No lines, no only front. Stacks. I can't believe some of this despicable little traps. They dress cheap. They put some cheap makeup on. And then on jeans and all class. I don't understand that one thing. You know, I started this journey. Oh my god, I was so young like that. I was 20 years ago. I was young and naive, but I learned a trade. And I. God, I just, the blood, the sweat, the tears, the pain. You know, so many times that I could have lost my life just because of dog mama. Oh my God. Oh. When I was dragged in the trenches, when I was dragged in prison, my not prison, in jail, and then corrupted cops because they left to the house to life. You know, how many times did I fill arenas, did I fill bars, did I fill venues in general? I mean, the fans clamor my name, Wendy. Wendy the Marquis. Wendy the Trendsetter. Wendy the Queen of Queens. I don't even know. <laughs> Glamorous crowd to certify me as queen because I was born a queen. So for all those little Cheap hoes and boys in dresses. Make up a dress and a wig doesn't make you a queen, honey. There's a certain degree that you have to be born with. And there are certain steps you gotta follow. And there are dues you must pay. And pay dearly. It doesn't come easy. Many have quit. I've seen many of them quit. Because when the road gets tougher, they quit. It's a lot easier just to dress up in girl garments, put a little cheap makeup, and go to parties maybe like once or twice a year. But who is the one who speaks for the gay community? Who is the one who fights for the gay community? Who is the one who becomes the ambassador of the gay community? Who is the one who's always been, always been fighting left and right for the gay community? Drag queens always have been there for the gay community. So the, big, the gay community never let them down yet. For the regret. You normally search your history and you'll find out who were the ones who created pride. Who were the ones, the force behind pride. It wasn't just the queer boys hiding behind the outskirts skirts or under skirts, I should say. They weren't the ones who were just behind anything. We drag queens were from day one. Don't you forget. Okay.